Hi, this is Kevin Tharp, and I'm going to be the one that helps you to learn how to do virtual cinematography using Open Brush. And so let's start at the very beginning. The version of Open Brush that we're going to use is the one that is available on Steam because we're going to be using Steam and Steam VR. Now, there are other versions of Open Brush that are out there, but with the standalone headsets, there isn't enough processing power to do the virtual cinematography. So to complete this course, you're going to need to have your system set up so that you can do a connection to a PC uh, so that you can use the processing power. That's why we're using Steam because Steam has the version of Open Brush that we're going to need uh, that includes the camera pass and the ability to process. Uh, some pretty intensive video. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create an account at Steam, steampowered.com, or honestly, if you just go in and do a, a search for Steam, uh, in most cases, that's going to come up pretty quick. Once you get there, what you need to do is you need to um, create an account, which can, can be done through the login, and you need to install Steam. Once you have installed Steam, this is what it looks like, but you'll have a uh, an icon that looks like, let's go ahead and close that, that looks like this one down here. It's the little Steam logo. Wherever you end up putting that is uh, the, the way that you'll access Steam. Once you get into Steam, you'll want to go to the store and you will want to do a search for Open Brush. So as you see, this is a free software you can only use it in virtual reality. Uh, so you'll need to download that, install it, all of those kind of things. I'm not going to go into all of those kind of details because I'm assuming that if you're coming into virtual reality with the idea of doing virtual cinematography, that you are uh, already somewhat computer literate. And so I'm going to treat you as such. Once you have downloaded that, you're also going to need to have Steam VR. Uh, presumably by this point you have already tested uh, Steam VR and the Steam um, uh, VR performance test because you're going to have to make sure that your system uh, is compatible. But you'll have a library. In that lab library you will have a list of the software that you have available to you. And then from there um, what you'll need to do is you'll need to access your virtual reality from Steam VR here. So you need to make sure that you have Steam VR installed into your system and that will introduce this uh, VR icon and you use that and you click that and that's going to give you access to your virtual reality. 